Well, we've got ourselves a new toy, an indoor grill. George Foreman. Uh, trying to see, it's just a five serving grill and panini. So, this is a pretty neat design. I've had the George Foreman indoor grill before and uh, since retired it. But uh, got this mainly because our outside grill, it's got a problem with the regulator. I'll probably do another video replacing, you know, replacing that. But for this video, you know, we're going to maybe grill up a couple burgers. Now it shows five in the picture, but those look pretty small. We'll compare them to regular uh, hamburgers. So I'm only going to probably put, you know, cook two of them, but we'll put five on there to see if they fit. But uh, overall, this is a pretty neat design. Um, flip this box around. Do this one hand here. Yeah, it's got the non-stick coating, which is pretty much traditional with the uh, George Foreman grills. A one inch hinge for the thick burgers and for sandwiches if you're toasting them. And of course, it's got the fat removing slope on it so the grease will drip out of it. And the two pieces, the two grills here will come out. So I'll go ahead and open this up here. And there we go. This is what it looks like on the inside. Got the little drip tray right here. And I'll probably need to use two hands to get the grill pieces out, so I'll set the camera up so we can go ahead and remove the top and bottom plates. All right, got my girl holding the camera. I'm holding it, Subs. Yeah. So there's how you remove the bottom plate. It even says on here, hot surface, don't touch. I'll touch it and you'll like it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what, you, goes, what, what you gonna do about it? Oh well, I guess I'm just gonna have to deal with it. Yeah. Yeah, and here's the top grill. Comes off same way. Got these little clips on the bottom. You just retract. You have to do both at the same time. So that's real easy to clean. And then just pop them back in. Which you get it lined up just right. They go back in. So there we go. Yeah. So that's how that comes apart. Yeah. So next we'll probably cook a hot. Now yeah, we'll put. Uh, a couple of uh, burgers on here. We might try to do five. I mean, not cook five, but just set them on here to see if they actually fit. I doubt I, they I, will. I think if they're smaller burgers, not the kind you eat. Yeah, the big manly burgers. Yeah. Yeah, like the, the burgers in this picture. Those are probably. They're, they're, they look small subs. Those are probably like for kids. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, they're just regular burgers right? made from ground meat. You know how it shrinks up. I like how they say feed the family. Well, you know. Everybody don't like the big burgers, you know, usually the kids. Are, yeah. Well, kids don't care what you, you put in front of them, they'll eat it. Like those two burgers on the top there, I'm, I'm wondering if they kind of got cut off somehow. But mm, Who knows? Yeah. But yeah, we'll get our burgers here in a bit and put them on there and see how many we can actually fit on here. So Damn them third degree burns. Yeah, darn it. And small burger plates. Yeah. So anyway, we'll be back when we're ready to cook some burgers. Yeah. Alright, so we got ourselves some Angus seasoned beef patties. We got them. There's six of them. They're a third pound. Now these are, I would say they're your average burgers. So let's see how many we can actually put on this here George Foreman grill. I thought you were filming in. I'm filming. Yeah, thank you. I'm going to get the paper off a little bit easier now. them just right you can just get three on there so yeah the box picture is a little misleading it's a lot misleading a lot misleading yeah yeah if you have the answer i guess if you have the regular burgers or are you mm -hmm. making them yourself you know you could probably get a lot more on there. yeah so basically they would need to be you know smaller yeah. or kid, kid size mm -hmm. or you know for women who don't really like a lot of meat you know yep uh depending oh well wouldn't that be a travesty? Yeah. So, we'll just go ahead and probably just do two. I'll put this one back, but I wanted to at least... Put the paper yeah, I'll put the paper. Yeah, keep it from freezing to the other burger there. Oh, sorry, Seth. Oh, what you filming? The grill. Oh, are you? Well, probably good enough. Oh. 
Well, it'll be all right. We'll just put them in the box here. Uh, actually, that needs to go into a uh, freezer bag. Oh, does it? Yeah. Well, then we'll just put them in a the freezer bag. Yeah. Yeah. I'll get this. Oh, well, I apologize. So, oh, well, now we can't have that. So, I'm going to go ahead and plug this thing in. Try to do this. And now it's got the red light. Once it, right now it's just doing its preheat. So, once it gets to its temperature, it's supposed to be, I believe this turns green. So, we'll wait and see if it does that. All right, well, maybe the light doesn't change, so I've already been cooking a couple burgers here, and if you can see, there's a little bit of dribblage underneath there. Yeah, yeah. dribblage. So it's actually working. Let's check it out real quick. Oh, yeah. It's cooking them quite nicely. So we'll let them keep cooking, and we'll check on here in just a bit. And one thing they don't tell you, this thing has actually got a hot surface doesn't tell you to, uh, you know, not avoid it. Avoid it. Yeah. So I was going to press it down a little bit just to kind of squeeze some extra grease off of the burgers, but uh, where are you? yeah, but yeah, you can't really do that. You just have to let the weight of the lid kind of do its thing and uh, maybe just lightly tap it. But yeah, it's, yeah, it's pretty, uh, pretty warm on the top of the surface there. Oh, really? Yeah. I thought it would have been cold. Yeah, I think. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. I mean, I see all that steam. I automatically think cold, ice. Well, I'm thinking winter. Darn it. That's what I get for thinking. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking winter. Well, we'll let these cook and we'll check them here again and uh, see how it goes. What do you think? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, if you want to, you can actually hold the sides, press them down a little bit. Um, why would you? Isn't it, already, what, isn't it already weighted? Well, not really. It's kind of lightweight, but it actually squeezes some more juice out to drip into the pan. Oh, wow. That's what I'm thinking. Damn them juices. Yeah. Being juicy. All right. You know, i got to get that grease out of there so we can eat healthy. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You follow me? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, let's see what we're looking like here. Ooh, that's looking yummy. Just for funsies, we'll, yeah, funsies. we'll flip them over and see what they look like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they look like they are pretty much done. Ooh. They got scorch marks. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'll go ahead and get my burgers situated here. That's okay, I can do it. Uh -huh. Yeah, I got it. But thank you anyway. There we go. That didn't take long at all. What was that, about uh, 10, 15 minutes, I think, total? Yeah. So, not bad. Yep, I'll go ahead and, I guess there's no on-off switch, so really you just, yep, unplug it. And then you can take the pans off, or the trays off, when they're cooled down enough to clean them. So I'll go ahead and get my burgers ready here to eat. All right, don't have any lettuce or tomatoes or whatever, so I'm just using mayonnaise, mustard, and relish. I think that'll be good enough. And them lack of condiments and vegetables. Yeah, this is kind of spur of the moment anyway, so no big deal. But yeah, I'll go ahead and try this out. Mm. Cooks them right through too. Very good. Well, yeah. I mean, aside from the misleading, you know, picture it's of... It's not misleading, it's just regular little burgers. Yeah, and these are rather large, so you can fit three large burgers versus five, I and guess, man-made smaller, smaller ones. Yeah, so other than that, it works great. Cooks them fast, you know, it takes the grease out of the, you know, out of the burgers. Drips, you know, drips off into the drip tray here. So, overall, I like it. Oh, so, you 
regulator for the... No, that's a different video. Oh, but, yeah. Uh, yeah, so anyway, now this is... Yeah, these things have cooled down enough that you can actually you know, pull this out. Just like that. So... But nice. Yeah, it makes it real easy for, for cleanup. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and just wrap this up. A demonstration of the new and improved George Foreman grill, which says it's, you know, five serving uh, tray, I guess, kind of, sort of, it could be, but for our purposes, you know, two to three burgers are probably the max. You a bunch of hot dogs. Oh yeah, hot dogs, chicken breasts, yeah, chicken uh, tenders, chicken tenders um, grilled grilled cheese sandwiches. Chicken breasts. Yeah, so it's definitely got, got uh, definitely got potential for grilled cooking. Cheese? Yeah, on rainy days, like yeah, we've got tropical storm Bertha passing over us, so we couldn't even grill out yeah, if we Bertha wanted to. Your big ass. Yeah, so we got, we we're just grilling out inside today. So big ass Bertha. Wow, there you go, it's a full tray just from two burgers. So don't spill it. I'm spilling. <laughs> so until the next thrilling video, Bye. adios.